There are two parts to each lab, the lab activity and the lab quiz. So let's take a look first at the lab activity. When you, when you first open the lab, it'll open here in Google Docs. And the reason it's here is that way you can print it or download it in whatever format you want. This Google Doc though is sort of locked, so you can only view it. Uh, you can't actually type anything in here. But what you can do is you go File to Download As, and you can choose whichever format that you would like. Um, probably most often that's going to be Microsoft Word and then it'll download to your computer and you can open it and type in your answers into the lab document. In some cases where we're doing some graphing and things like that you might elect to just print um, the document itself but that's your choice. The other thing is if you are comfortable using Google Docs yourself then you can actually just sign in and go file to make a copy in which case this will be a, a copy of of the Google Doc and you can again edit it there in, in Google Drive. So the first part is the lab activity. You'll work through the instructions. You'll include your own answers where it says insert answer here. In some cases that might be a photograph or a screen capture, something along those lines. And when you've finished working on the lab document and you have it saved as a file on your computer, then you're going to submit the lab document using uh, my online Dropbox. So this link will bring you to this nice little Dropbox where you can type in your name and you can select the file. Make sure that it's the most up-to-date saved version, right? And you can um, upload and submit it. And when you do, you'll get a little message that it's been uh, submitted to my Google Drive. But that's not the end of the lab. Okay, so that's just the first part. The second part then of each lab is to return to the course and complete the lab quiz. Now the purpose of the lab quiz is for you to demonstrate your understanding of what we went over in the lab. All right, so those two parts of the lab are required. Now when you go to the lab quiz, you'll see a question which asks you, did you submit, did you complete and submit the lab, right? And you just say yes or no. That will give you credit for submitting it, but you are also submitting it to me. So I reserve the right to go back and remove some of those points if you did not fully complete your lab activity or you didn't complete it to a high enough level of quality. Um, but the lab quiz will automatically give you credit once you select that, that button. Just know that I'll be looking back over those labs. Okay, I hope that makes good sense and uh, if you have any questions of course feel free to shoot me a message.